afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we are going to start the process of putting together and installing the new sport bar, roll bar, on the Toyota Tacoma. Now, we're going to go through this pretty much step to step. Uh, or step by step, something that I didn't do the last time that I did one of these. So I've got parts all over the garage. We've got parts over here. We've got parts up there. I've got parts down here. And this is where we're going to start. It's kind of a two or three piece system as far as once you get everything assembled to put on. But before I get started, this time I'm going to try to be a little bit smarter. And I'm going to run wiring. This has a third brake light that goes on the front part, which is actually there. You can see the wiring, but it has to get from there to the back of the truck to the brake light. That's how I connect it in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the wiring that came with the kit, which is sitting here. Unfortunately, you can unplug it. I'm gonna run it from there through the sport bar here, and then I'm gonna drill a hole on the, I think the back side of this, so that I can run it under the truck rail back to the stoplight or the, the brake light. Also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna add some lights to the top of this thing. So I wanna go ahead and run a couple of wires uh, for power down to the side of the bed where I have wiring left over from the last set of lights I had on. So I have to run three wires through this hole, down the bar, and then out the back uh, so that I can have it all ready to go before I put it together. The mistake I made last time is I put the whole thing together and then I was trying to stuff wires down through an assembled part. That was kind of a drag. So let me go ahead. This is very simple. I'm just gonna run the wires through here and then we'll get to the point where you drill it over here. Okay, something I discovered, my wiring for the third brake light has ends on it. So, I want to maintain those. And that means I need to go ahead and get the holes going because I'm going to feed it this way, hopefully, from the bottom up because I have a fuse down here on one end. I can't feed it the other way. And I want to keep the fuse and the ends and in all of that for a clean install. So that means I needed a grommet, uh, which I almost lost over here. Uh, I have a couple of these. <laughs> And it fits through, and the other two wires will fit through as well. So I'm going to go ahead, drill the hole through here, put the grommet in, and then I'm going to feed the wires through. And I will be coating this with a little bit of paint just to make sure there's no opportunity for rust once I drill that hole through the finished metal. So first things first, I want to go ahead and just tap the hole a little bit. I've already figured out where I want it going to be on the back side of the bar. So I'll just hit this a couple times. That should give me a good in indentation for the drill bit to grab on. And I'm going to step it up. I actually may use a step bit. I don't know. I have one somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to start off with a smaller hole, obviously, just to uh, kind of get things going here. There is uh, rubber in there, or not rubber, but foam for insulation, sound maybe. I'm not sure what it's there for, so just be advised you're going to hit something like that. Okay, I've got the hole drilled. I did use a step bit. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and just coat the hole with a little bit of paint before I actually put the grommet in and then start running the wires through. Uh, so, we're going to... Like I said, just kind of, I'm just using this paint pen because I have it. <laughs> and it is paint, it does flow. So that's good, it's what I want. But I'm gonna do this and then let it dry just a little bit, probably not nearly long enough. And then I'll go ahead and put the uh, grommet in there. And I am gonna try to get underneath from the inside as well, but you get the idea. All right, give you guys a bit of an update. I got the wire run through, the grommet is in, 
and then it comes out the top. Now, the way it's gonna work, of course, is this is going to go into the top part up there, and then it's going to come out of this hole to feed my lights and the third brake light. So I just need to pull enough wire to get it out of here, I guess, uh, and then I'm good. Then I can cut off the other end and quit messing around with the spools I have connected. So next up, all we have to do is go ahead, like I said, feed the wires through, bring them through this hole. Uh, go ahead and put a screw in here. Same thing on the other side, and then we're done with the first part. All right, moving right along. I've got the wire all run. Uh, no big deal, came up through the grommet here. I did pull the grommet and then stick it back in. And then down here, we've got it going through the grommet that I drilled and put in. So the wiring is done. Again, this is for the third brake light and the lights I'm gonna put up on top. So I've already got one screw in to put the bars together. Now, just slip this in and hopefully, hopefully nothing's bent and it goes in, there we go. Kind of finagle it a little and you just wanna do these loosely, right? Um, you certainly don't want to tighten them down because there is going to be some adjusting uh, once we get this thing up on the truck. So I'm just going to kind of put them in there and leave them like that. Hand tighten loosely. That's about it. So that's it for the uh, back bar, if you will, the bar that's going to hold the light and, uh, and the wiring. Now I have to put together the second bar that goes on down the rails and marries up to this one at these two points. All right, next up is to connect the two front bars, these down here, uh, using this center bar with the third brake light. And obviously it's going to be facing backwards uh, because it wouldn't make much sense to have it facing the cab. So it's gonna go in between these two bars, uh, same way as the other one went together, and then we'll have a piece that's actually standing up, starting to come together, slowly. Be nice if this thing stood up on its own, but it doesn't. And then of course, the screw is underneath. So, I'm gonna kinda try to judge that a little. Matter of fact, try to do this without scratching it all off. That's what feet are for, I guess. Alright. Okay, there's one side. Bad. Okay, next up is to join that bar to this bar with two little nubs. Now, it's not too complicated, I don't think. And the good part now is it will stand on its own uh, once these are joined together. So I'm going to do that next, gently. Okay, that takes care of those two bolts. Now I have to put those side runner pieces on and it's basically assembled. I take that back. Before I do that, I have to put the two side uh, covers, decorations, whatever you want to call on, and then the bottom pieces and it's pretty much all assembled. Um, at that point, I think it's time to put it on the truck. All right, we've got the side trim piece on. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the, the other side.
All right, that puts the side panels on. Next, we have to put the runners on, or what I'm calling the runners, the bottom pieces that fit over the edges of the bed rail, or rails. Uh, and then we're done with assembly. Now, fortunately, from the last time I had this kit, they changed the bolts. These are flat. They'll fit right down in these uh, nubs here. That is much better. Before they were like a hexagonal head and they stuck down too far and sat on the rail on the bed. That was uh, a horrible design. These are much better. All right, got it all put together. Uh, I had a little bonehead move there a minute ago. Uh, so let's take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You're supposed to put these little covers on. I left them off. So I had to take the one side off that I had on and put them on. So now it's done. It's all put together. Pretty loosey goosey, which is okay. That's what you want. Uh, next up, of course, is going to be putting it on the back of the Tacoma. That's going to be another video, otherwise this thing's going to be like three hours long. And speaking of time, I spent about four hours on this so far. Granted, I added some wiring, I took my time, I'm doing filming, I'm sweating to death. Um, so it takes a while, if you're careful. Honestly, without filming and running right through it, you probably could put it together in, eh, if you're really good, about an hour, hour and a half, but I'd say about two hours. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, let me know what you think so far. I know you haven't seen it on the truck. That's coming uh, soon, like probably next. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.